Finally got everything I need to get my Viper PSD Gen 2 scope mounted to my max long range. Um, I was waiting on a base. Uh, they had ordered me a long action base, so I had to get a short action 20 MOA base, which is just sitting there, so I'm going to put that on first. Um, had to go with Tally. I couldn't find a browning one. I'm sure there won't be any issues with it, but first step here is I'm going to mount up the base and the rings and scope. Then we'll do a sight in. I don't know if I'll get that to that with this video, but we'll sight it in and uh, we'll take her out to distance and see see how she shoots. That's 6.5 PRC. So I got my Wheeler Fat Wrench, first step. I don't know if I'm going to show all the steps here, I'll tell you guys what I'm doing, but just save time, I'll just do it quick. And I've got my Wheeler Fat Wrench, I'm going to go to 20 inch pounds on uh, the base screws. So I'll do that quick and then we'll get onto the rings. Nothing too high tech here, just. Uh, Going around and around. Torque each one down. So the next thing I did was just spacing of my rings. Um, I want as much space as possible. Could go maybe a little bit more on the front and back, but uh, I think I'm just gonna stick with that in case I need to adjust my eye relief anymore. I did a rough eye relief and it looks pretty good right there. So I'm gonna snug these down to 50 inch pounds and then I'll get to uh, doing the um, scope and the gun. Push the ring forward as far as I can. Make sure everything's snug. This is gonna be a bit of cranking here because this is 50 inch pounds, which is substantial. Same thing on this one, make sure it's all the way forward. Do not want to slip and scratch my new rifle. Don't mind the kids upstairs. So, I got my rifle perfectly level here. I'm gonna set my eye relief, slung my scope down. And I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna check my scope with a level. And I'm also, I also got a plumb bob hanging in the garage there that I'm gonna, I'm gonna level my reticle up to. We are at 18 inch pounds on the ring, rings. And just go round and round. Over them, over them. Keep checking them. It's a little tricky to film, but as you can see, perfectly level with the plumb bob. If I move it off, you'll see where the plumb bob is. And then, in this instance, these these scope uh, turrets are actually pretty level there. So, gun was level, didn't move it. We're perfectly level. I had to start this process over because the anti this could not be put on while the scope was mounted, so or otherwise put the anti on first. So the last thing to do while the rifle was in a perfectly level state was just to get this anti device on and level it. So now we're mounted. Should be perfectly level. anti level, but I'll check that with the, the uh, tall target test. So you can see, even with the low rings, um, with the 20 MOA base, it's still setting pretty high, but you can't really get it any lower than that with the, with those, with this setup, but I do like the 20 MOA base, so nice thing, it's got the adjustable comb, I've set it for my, and I am just about maxed out to get uh, my good positioning for, for the scope. 
A couple things that I also wanted to say, I like to set my eye relief on maximum power. That way, anytime you're on maximum power, if you're good, you back it off. You're not gonna run into any issues. Some guys like to do it, set it where they shoot the most. I personally like to do it on maximum power, so. Next, I'll be sighting it in. I'll go through uh, zero stop on the Vortex PSD Gen 2, which is pretty simple. I'm just gonna do a quick bore sight, no video of that, but. And then uh, check up with the next video and we'll be sighting it in, uh, chronographing it, seeing how it shoots. Uh, what speed, I got both the match and the ELDX, so 147 grain and the uh, 143 grain. 6.5 PRC. See what groups better, see uh, what kind of speed we're getting, and then once we've established that, we can go for some long range stuff.